Sanders for the Women's Junior Bronze Medal match representing the United States of America. So for USA, we have Strachan, Trafford and Veer. And please welcome your opponents in this bronze medal match, Sweden. And for Sweden, we have Bergsten, Medbo, and Muntfer. For Sweden, we have Muntfer, nice. Bergsten, Nida, and Nida, Medbo. Athletes, to your places, please. And for the judge for this match is Laura Lynn Churchill. So. Okay, I've worked out which one is shooting what bows. So we've got <laughs> Bergsten shooting Vika for Sweden, Medbow, Bearbow, and Munther is the compound shooter for Sweden. And on the USA side, we have Strachan shooting compound, Trafford shooting Vika, and Via shooting Bebo. Strachan shooting for the individual gold medal tomorrow in the junior compounds, and she shot some seriously impressive totals this week. On the uh, on the eliminator courses, that would have put her in the uh, top four of the seniors as well. So this girl can really shoot. Good shot, five. So I think Trafford was the uh, world junior champion two years ago in Croatia. Shooting that? I don't know. Oh. I was shooting for. In, in the senior final, so I didn't watch the juniors in the morning. Yeah. That's the three there yes. from Trafford. I watched the semi finals this morning and the US bear boat. She wasn't really on it. No, she's going to need to seriously shoot well now. Oh, well, oh brilliant awesome. six. Yeah, good that's goodness. a really good shot for her. So she's got her game back together. 14, that's a solid total there. Well, when you're against Sweden, you know that your bear boat you're against is going to be good. A low four there. Yes. Compound needs more than that. So pressure on the recurve to keep a good shot in now. Two. That's not a good start for Sweden. That's a lot of pressure on their bare bow now, which is what you don't need to do. The sighted archers need to to make the bare bow archer's job easier. But there's one country that's got a succession of world class Berbo shooters, it is Sweden. Two points. Gonna look happy. Oh, oh so no. great start there for the USA. Yeah, they've got really great six point lead already. Six point lead, wow. Yeah, we've got 14 to 8. So on the Sweden we're ranked fifth, fourth in qualifying, and the USA were ranked third. So USA should be are the favourites for this match of the seedings. See the agents there just getting the arrows, scoring them on the side of the hill, and the targets slowly work up that bank that you can see right now. Sweden will shoot first on the next target, which is 45 meters for the sighted and 40 for the bevo. And it's a big 
halfway up that good halfway up that bank that you can see right in front of us now. It's quite an exciting um, finals it's range. It's really clever, really clever. I was shocked when I walked around the corner. I was not expecting to see targets that high up and elevated. So it's really good for a world field to have the elevation in the targets. Yeah. So two minutes for three hours off two pegs and the time starts once you walk forward to the peg. It's just waiting. So we seem to have a delay, I'm not sure why. Yeah, just waiting for some graphics for the big screen. Okay, oh. so. USA will be up first. No, Sweden will be up Sweden first. Sweden will be up, yeah. yeah. Just going to plug this venue. So, Killandry House in Bray in Ireland this week. Been the host to the biggest world field archery championships ever. We've had five days, day five now of the competition. Yes. Yep, day five been exciting we've done two days of qualifiers out in the woods yesterday was a big day of eliminations where we got down to our individual four finalists and there's been some big scores and big upsets and some awesome matches set for tomorrow for the individual finals but this afternoon we have our team finals we had team eliminators this morning in the rear meadows on the side of a big hill we got some real irish rain on us during that so there were some really exciting matches some real close ones we got some fantastic lineups and matches for you this afternoon so we're here now with our second match of the day which is sweden versus the USA for the Junior Girls Bronze yeah, Medal and Sweden will be shooting 45 metres. It's a big elevation uphill, so your cut off your sight is vital right now. So, as they're not allowed any electronic devices out there, Ian Folkart, my co-host, how do you gauge on a final spill like this? What do you think? I guess that's it. Not very professional, I suppose, but... <laughs> no, but do you feel you get an eye for it? I, I suppose it's so, yeah. Guess, it's not it? It's experience, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, so the Swedish bearbow, she was going to shoot, but she's come down, so the recurve has gone. She's a compound. She's a compound, I apologise. Oh, they can't make their mind up here. They've both had a good look at that now. Well, I think... Judging from her face, <laughs> she's going to be very happy <laughs> with a four. There, she gave that some smiles as it went off. Oh, oh. no. no. It is difficult court. when you're going uphill and a bit of a cross slope to get your bow vertical. Yeah. And again, I think there's a bit of a breeze maybe up towards these top shots. That's not great for Sweden. That's a better shot, it's a three, but if you see the way the out targets are angled, you can see there's a tip in there. They're trying to get you to lean your bow over and, and go left or right. Some yeah. clever setting of the course there. So, big chance now for the USA to, to put some lead in here. What can they do? Strachan's been on form all week. She looks really relaxed. Yeah. Strong. That's a good shot. Lovely. That's the really good shot. Trafford, who came to defend her individual title this week, she isn't going to, but. She gave it a good go, that's and a that's lovely a lovely shot. shot. Yeah, really good shot there. And already, even with an arrow to spare, USA have extended their lead. So 
USA. We are in the USA. Oh, no, didn't get a cut right, but still is the USA extend their lead now to nine points halfway through. So ladies and gentlemen, for the second part, yeah. USA So target number three, which Steven is the next one they're going to, the 40 centimetre face, 25 metres for the side starches, 20 for the bare boats. To be fair, it's the out of the three shots on the course, it is the flattest. It's totally flat, isn't it? Still slight elevation on it, yeah. I think you could probably quite easily get your um, canting wrong, though. Yeah. It's still a bit of a s across the yeah. Yeah, so you see everyone looks a little bit wet through still, a bit yeah. drowned. It really did rain hard this morning during the semi-finals for these guys. And uh, there was a big queue in the very small coffee shop of people shooting this afternoon. <laughs> uh, everyone looks very relaxed, the US team, they're happy. Sweden's going first. Yep. Right, they need a strong target. It's not over. It's never over, particularly when you're guessing and you've got bevos. But the they need a strong target here. They're looking for 15 <laughs> points for these three hours. Put a bit of pressure on the USA, make them shoot well. That's a good shot. I don't understand what's with the Christmas tree fletchings. It's a bit odd. Something interesting to look at. Yes. I've noticed a few of them around this week on the Swedish team. So obviously, someone in Sweden made some new fletchings. That's a four on the recurve archer from Sweden. Mm -hmm. Bergström? Bergström. So. This is Medbo. Yeah, she needs a good shot now. She's generally shot quite well here. I'm not. I don't. Her shots look lovely. Oh, she wasn't happy with that. No. Two. So we've got twenty-six for Sweden. Yeah. So, USA. Time has started for the two. That looks a really good hand warmer that uh, Clafford's got there on her back. So, Strachan leading them off. Good shot, Eight just points. out the six. So, it's once the um, the pressure's off and you've got a good lead, it's easier to shoot good arrows and just keep extending that lead. Yeah. Trafford with their second shot. Four. Four so points. that's the same as uh, Sweden on their first two. Yep. You can hear our teammates giving us some support. Oh, great Eight shot points. there. You could hear again from the the US team. We has really picked the game up this afternoon from their uh, semi-final. She's really found her mark on these targets today, this afternoon. So US powering ahead now to a 14-point lead. So, so far, three targets in. We start with a 15 stroke 10 meter bunny shot, which is 20 centimeter targets. Sorry? 20 centimeters, the bunny shot. The target, the official target size. Yes, 20. Yeah. 
Then we moved on to a 45 meter sh shot for the sighted, 40 for the unsighted on a 60 centimeter face, and that was with a big elevation of the slope where the US really took control. And then we shot the 40 centimeter faces, so we have the 80 centimeter faces left now, which is at 60 meters for the sighted and 50 for the unsighted, and this is a big least 20 25 degree uphill shot now but it just makes it seem even further away when it's uphill i think yeah yeah but anything can happen yes Pound even off for Sweden. Oh, just a bit Ooh, low. Nice. She took a bit too much off her sight there. She must have just over adjusted for the slope. Oh, she looked yeah. nervous then, didn't she? Yeah. <laughs> she just wants to shoot one, one good shot. Yeah, and it's it's tough uphill. You can makes it very easy to, to catch. She's bending her arm up rather than just in her posture. It's hard to tell from this camera angle. Oh, that was a great shot That's though. brilliant. Nice five oh there. Nice. Yeah, she's happy with that. Nine points so far for Sweden. Been the strongest target already, I'd say, with those two shots, but I think it's a little bit too late for them. Well, they need a four to overtake USA, having not shot this target yet. Yeah. Well, that was a good shot, but again, <coughs> just a tad okay. to the left with the slope. So, um, a USA already champion. Yes. Congratulations, the USA, and they can enjoy these three shots now as world champion. These are quite difficult shots to make. They want to celebrate already, and yet they've got to focus and yeah. properly. <laughs> See, they're smiling already. Well, bronze <laughs> medalists, not champions, aren't they? Yeah. But you want to finish strong. So Strachan, ooh, comes down. Now, obviously there is only two minutes to shoot these three arrows. Trafford should have been a bit more ready then, really, but it's not the end of the world for them. Oh, no, it's yes. over three. So no one's really worked this target out yet. No. Oh. Uh, Sweden oh. will reduce their deficit, but unfortunately they got two behind on the on the first few targets. So we are it's a complete victory. And you can hear the coach is counting down the time, so she needs to be quick on this shot. A lovely yeah. shot there to finish. Great nice. shot from the bear bow. She just shot really well. She's yeah. had a six, two fives, and a miss. So three quarters were brilliant. <laughs> yeah. This is it's a great result for a bear bow. Yeah, absolutely. Really strong shooting there. US shot well. 47 points. Yeah, so in the end, they won by 10 points. 47 to 37. Yeah. Sweden... 
great last target, but unfortunately they were already too far behind. So bronze medalists in the junior division, 2016 are the USA.